performing arts coordinator for the school district, and I'm also um, one of the high school music teachers. Um, I'll be conducting some band pieces later this evening. Um, first order of business is we just want to make sure that you make note of our fire or the emergency exits. They're, you can, they're marked in the back there. There is one right here. Um, there are also some very um, awesome and capable ushers that are around that will be more than, they're great, and if there ever is an emergency, they know exactly what to do and will take you right outside and make sure that um, everyone is safe. Um, first up, or another thing, please keep in mind that CCTV is recording tonight. Um, the link, I'm gonna guess, is gonna be ready tomorrow sometime. They're usually really quick and turning around. Um, they do an awesome job putting together a little recording for us. Um, so if you are looking to watch the concert after tonight or you have somebody who couldn't make it tonight, that that's um, a perfect opportunity for you to see the concert. With that also being said, Please refrain from recording out in the audience this evening. CCTV is recording. You're going to get a nice recording of, of, our, of the concert. And it's just distracting to all of the performers for you to have your phones out while they're trying to perform. I do want to make a special thank you to the Walker Lecture Series. They continue to donate to Concord Music um, and or performing arts in general. We would not be able to hold this concert this evening without them. They have given us a very nice amount of money to kind of offset some of our um, our costs at the at the Capital Center here. So let's give them a nice round of applause. Uh, we do have our FOPA treasurer around. FOPA stands for Friends of the Performing Arts. Um, one of our goals is to make sure that um, they help to promote the performing arts in the entire school district. Um, they, right now they're doing a 50-50 raffle that um, helps to turn money around. It's going to go to students for sc summer scholarships, um, any other things, any other costs that are incurred for tonight's concert that we just can't afford after um, the tickets were, have been taken. So please try and help with FOPA. Um, if you are ever interested in helping with your person, please let us know. I can put you in touch with the right people and we can have some, um, you can definitely help with, with that. Um, also, this is not only music in our schools month, it's also youth art month. And in between our transitions, there are some awesome um, pictures of pieces of art um, from all over the school district. There's probably many students that are here performing music tonight that also have pieces that are photographed there. Um, I believe that the art um, show is also still down at Kimball Jenkins if you are interested in going to watch and see some fantastic student art. Um, let me just make sure I hit all of our things. This is not our last concert. We have one tomorrow night here for orchestra. And we also have one on the 28th at Runlet Middle School. That concert is our jazz and chamber concert. Please, that, the one at Runlet's free. You can come, come right out and see some awesome um, chamber ensembles. And one more thank you, and then one more other statement. Um, I just want to make sure we thank um, Steve, Martin, and Andy, and all of the crew here at the Capitol Center. They do a fantastic job being welcoming to us and making this such a great place to perform. Let's give them a round of applause. And, and one last item. Um, I just want to remind you and urge you that tonight's concert is set up so that everyone can stay. Um, I'm very cognizant of the fact that it can get late fast and kids need to go home for their bedtime or whatever. Um, but we have, our goal and our philosophy with this concert is for these nice, fine musicians to get to see the high school group um, at the end. Um, if I said that the concert was supposed to end at 8 o'clock, that would be an overestimation. <coughs> these guys are doing two tunes. The three grades and for sixth, seventh, and eighth, they're each doing two each, and then the high school has 15 minutes worth of music. I can't imagine that it's going to go very long. Please plan on staying. It's our goal to have everyone get to see all of the levels of music and performance for this evening. So thank you and enjoy the show. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, so happy that we're back 
on stage again after a couple of years. Uh, we have quite a fifth grade team up here, and uh, at the end of their two songs, uh, they're going to come off stage slowly and methodically, and they're going to come down through that uh, doorway and try to say hello to them to, to get them, steer them over to where you guys are sitting. Uh, also, uh, many of you might have already gotten notice that uh, it's time to sign up for Runland ensemble groups, chorus, band, orchestra. And I think that came through last Thursday. And so, you know, encourage your kids to uh, think about what they want to do. That's part of the reason why we're here, so these fifth graders can hear what they'll sound like next year at this time in sixth grade. So, uh, our first song is Beethoven's Ninth. was in March of 2019. We were getting ready to do it in 2020, and we had just performed the chorus concert like three nights or four nights before, and then COVID hit, and we never played here again. This is the first time that the fifth graders have been here since 2019. Give them a round of applause. So one of my favorite things about this concert, we had this tradition, and I'm going to restart it tonight, we had this tradition where the music teachers would come up and tell you corny music jokes. Remember? Oh, listen to the kids. Alright, I got the best one. I'm going to lead it right off. Okay. So what should you do when you hear Grateful Dead music coming out of your printer? What should you do when you hear Grateful Dead music coming out of your printer? Anybody got the answer? Don't worry, it's just your paper jamming. He thinks it's hilarious. All right, we are going to do one more song with the fifth grade combined band. It is called Band Boogie. 
Erica.
evening. Thank you so much again for coming. Uh, that was our first piece, First Light. I um, want to give a couple of shout outs. One is um, to Miss White, who has been, uh, she's a junior at Concord High School. She's been joining us um, during sixth grade band a couple times a week um, and will be with us for most of the year. And it's really great to have her, um, especially the flute section is very excited that um, she's performing with us tonight. Um, also, Mr. Fogg um, in the back is doing a, a cameo with us tonight, which is very exciting. Um, this group has worked super hard. It's been really fun to come in with a really large group this year and um, figure out how we're going to play together. And they've done an excellent job. I'm really proud of the work they've done. This music is challenging. It's a big step up from fifth grade, and they've really uh, put in a lot of effort, and we've had a lot of fun together. Our last piece is called Declaration and Dance. Thank you.
I'm going to bring the eighth grade up to do a combined piece, seventh and eighth. Um, I always think it's fun to, to find different mixes. Um, and this piece that we're doing next, we were supposed to play the year that we got, like Mr. Alperici said, we didn't get a chance to play here. So we brought it back and found just the right combination of groups to play it together. So once the eighth grade gets settled, we'll play it to the sure. Thank you. So I'm very proud of how far they've come um, not having had that whole year of getting to play with the group. They all played alone at home. I'm sure some of you heard them, you know, alone in their bedrooms or alone in their living room or in the basement um, and never getting a chance to work with all the different other instruments and hear the different, you know, it didn't matter if they went too slow or too fast because no one else was there for it to, you know, make a difference for. And uh, they've really just grown so much and we're playing music that I pl would have played in other 8th grade groups who had that year together um, and they've just grown, especially this year, really just leaps and bounds. I'm really proud of this group. I um, hope you enjoy our last piece, Legend of Castle Armand. Thank you.
Um, this next piece, uh, I just want to explain a little bit about what you'll hear. Um, it goes from two different time signatures. So it goes from 4-4, four, four, which means there are going to be um, eight quick beats in the measure, so one and two and three and four and, to seven eight, so there's seven quick beats in the measure. One and two and, one, two, three, one and two. So you're going to hear two different um, time signatures. And if you're a foot tapper, I think you'll hear where the seven eight measures are because it'll make your foot tap change um, like what big beat it's on. Enjoy. Cool. Sorry, sorry, I'm to interrupt your comment. Um, this is going to feature um, Elliot Brock on the clarinet.
just talk briefly, briefly about this piece. We are fast approaching my eight o'clock deadline. Um, but I do want to just mention um, this piece, Lincolnshire Posey, it's actually a six movement piece, and it's like, it, the, the piece is actually a standard in the band literature. A lot of professional or, um, concert bands, college bands, upper level, um, upper level um, professional musicians will play this piece. And we've chosen two to share with you today. Uh, each, um, each movement comes from a different um, folk song from like the United Kingdom area, um, Australian area. So um, you, you'll, you might hear some, some melodies that you recognize. The movement six, one is the same melody over and over again with like all kinds of different things put together with different harmonies and rhythms and all kinds of fun things. Um, so please enjoy our final piece, um, the two movements from Lincoln Jerposi.
Thank you so much. You guys can sit down for a quick second before you guys go. Um, thank you so much for being here tonight. It's 7.59. Who won? Mr. Fox said 8.02. I said 7.57. Mrs. Kella, what did you say? 50. Ah, the winner's right here. All right. We'll see everybody here tonight, back here tomorrow night for our strings. Thank you so much.